everybody, I'm Katie. Welcome back to my kitchen. And today's recipe calls for the easiest, quickest, the most delicious dessert recipe that you can ever imagine. So what do you say? Let's start painting. Let's see the ingredients so we can get started. We're going to need some puff pastry, sugar, and cinnamon. That's it, guys. Those are the ingredients. We don't need anything else. You're going to get your pan your baking sheet actually, some parchment paper, a knife, uh, and a little spoon. Let's get started. We're gonna open up our puff pastry. We need no butter in this. Because puff pastry has a lot of butter on its own. At this point, I forgot to tell you, you're going to preheat your oven at 350 Fahrenheit, 180 Celsius. Okay, nice hot oven. This is going to be baking for about 35 minutes, 30 to 35 minutes. Now, this is what we're going to do. Since we have our parchment paper here, we don't need to butter it or anything. I'm just flipping it over like this. Okay? So far, so good. Now, I'm gonna take my sugar. Oh, excuse me one minute. Watch this now. We need a glass also. I'm taking my sugar. And I'm just gonna put, if you want it sweeter, it's fine. This is optional. And this recipe, you can make it with uh, chocolate, you can make it with fruit, with some jam. You can even put mozzarella cheese and a little bit of tomato sauce and you've got the quickest pizza ever. Make sure you put the sugar all around because this is gonna caramelize once it starts to heat in your oven. Okay. Now we're gonna put some cinnamon. If you like cinnamon, put it in. If you don't like it, don't put it in. You can use coffee also, instant coffee, some Greek coffee, whatever rocks your boat. You can do so many things with this recipe. Now, this glass, what I'm gonna do with it, I'm gonna place it, make sure you place the glass right in the center. You're not gonna press it, just you're gonna leave it like that, okay? So you can understand about what we're gonna do later on. Okay, now, I'm gonna take my other sheet of puff pastry, I'm gonna open it. And when you buy puff pastry, it's usually frozen. Make sure that you defrost it because you're not gonna be able, it's gonna fall apart. You're, you're not gonna have the same uh, results. And again, I'm going to place one sheet on top of the other, evenly, okay? And again, I'm repeating the process. If you're thinking, can I put more sheets on top? No, you can't because they're not going to be baking at the same time. And like I said in the beginning, you can put as much sugar as you like. You can put honey. This is my traditional uh, recipe. And it's something you can have on hand always. Everybody has sugar in the house. Everybody has uh, cinnamon. The only thing that you have to stock up is your um, puff pastry. Now. I want you to watch closely here. We're gonna take the glass again and place it, but now we're gonna leave it on our puff pastry. And with a knife, I'm gonna cut all the way through, both layers, like that. And 
and repeating. And again, that's twice, and now we're going to do it one more time, three. All the way through, okay? Make sure you're going to be cutting all the way through. Believe it or not, we're almost finished. Almost. One more step to go. All the way through. Let me get this out of the way. And now, we're going to start twisting our puff pastry. This is how you're going to do it. Since it's cut all the way through, hold on a minute. You're going to take the piece, one piece, the bottom and the top, and you're just going to swirl it like this. Okay, got that? Same thing goes for the entire baking sheet. You're just going to swirl it gently. Don't mind the sugar that it's going to be falling out. It's perfectly okay. Let's do this one. And if it's not cut all the way through because it is thick, you're just going to do it over and swirl. And again. The result will amaze you. It's going to look like a sun. Like the bright summer sun. Like that. Okay, two more to go. And we're done. And the last one. That's it. Now we're taking off the glass. And I'm just cutting through the circle. This way, when it's done, when it's baked, I mean, the only thing that you have to do is pull them out. Okay, now this baby is going to be baking for about 30 to 35 minutes. We're not going to egg wash. We're not going to put any more butter. That's it. And I'll be back to show you what it looks like after 30, 35 minutes. Okay, guys, 35 minutes are up. Let's get them out. That's it. Beautiful. Just like the Greek sun. Now, you tell me if you cannot make this recipe. A monkey can make it. Go out there, get your puff pastry, and start making this recipe. I hope you enjoyed it. Like always, I'm looking forward to next time. Of course, always remember, cooking brings people together. And stay tuned because I'm giving you a super duper salad recipe. Bye.